If you get him to Ultra Rare, he will be able to feed into the Intelligence Ultra Instinct Goku for 100% chance of increasing his super attack. So that's really useful. So you want to get at least nine of them for those to, to, to Doken Awaken if you plan on doing it that way and you don't want to use Elder Kai's if you're extremely free to play. It is going to be a little bit of a grind fest, but at least it is free for you guys to do it. Um, other than that, get at least one of these up to Super Attack 10. He's a cool free to play unit. Stage four is the Kachin Metal. Um, I don't know the actual name. I forgot what the actual name is, but it's the actual Kachin. I know it's a, a part of the Kachin family. Uh, anyway, you go ahead and you grind those out. You need to do it 30 times for a special mission reward as well. Uh, and you go into the Baba Shop and you can purchase stuff with them. So you can go ahead and grind it out. Personally, I don't really find it worth it unless you're trying to go for some Elder Kai's. Um, outside of that, not really that much. Stage six, you can go ahead and get any of the training locations, which isn't really a big deal. You can do it if you would like to. They have some good training locations. Stage seven is Awakening Metals. Stage eight is Urine. Now, um, I, 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 she is a free-to-play unit. She is for tech teams. She's really not that great of a, of like a, in terms of damage output, but she is an SSR and she is free. Uh, so, I mean, you can go ahead and grab her if you want to. She's a free-to-play card. So, I mean, you can't really go wrong with that. Uh, if you're going to do it, I recommend getting her up to Super Attack 10. Uh, it took me about 20 runs for me to get her up to Super Attack 10. I'm assuming the Gohan, the Freezes, and all of them are going to have similar drop rates. So, you're going to have to at least estimate around 20 runs per level just to get them up to Super Attack 10. Uh, unless you get lucky. And I did do it with a full uh, a full team of Universe, uh, Universe Survival or Universe 6 uh, Saga uh, players. And I still took it still took me 20 runs. So good luck if you're doing that. It's all it's all about luck though. It's all about drop rate. Some people have gotten multiple drops of her and gotten her within within the, the special mission reward. Uh, Ultimate Gohan's on stage nine. Go ahead and grind him out to feed into any of the Ultimate Gohan's that you have. They can increase the super attack that way. I personally do not have the strength Ultimate Gohan, so I cannot increase the super attack with him. But I do have all the other ones, so I might consider doing that to get him up to super attack ten. Um, this is the Frieza, as I said last week, and as I said in um, a lot of videos, I've been waiting for this guy. I still haven't grinded him out. This is the Angel Frieza, and he feeds into the special one we had for the Otherworld Tournament. You could feed this guy into the Otherworld Tournament Frieza in order to increase the super attack. He also Doken Awakens into a revived Golden Frieza, or Angel Golden Frieza, and he will feed into the future Revival Leader, assuming we get him, which we should be getting soon. Uh, stage 11 is the Doken Awakening medals for him. Uh, outside of that, that's not really that much. This is a really cool event. I actually really enjoyed this event. Um, it runs until 3.18, so you have a lot of time to grind that out. Next one is going to be Hope Fight Against Despair. It runs until Sunday 3.11, uh, so you have some time. This Gohan, you can grind out. You're going to need him for the later stages, so you need to get at least one of him. Trunks is really useful. He finally gets a Doken Awakening to his uh, ultra, ultra Rare form. <laughs> well, not Ultra Rare, TUR form now. So that's going to be really awesome. Uh, I'll, we'll go over all this. Uh, so... Vegeta now gets his Doken Awakening medals. You're going to go have to go look for special time missions with the Nimbus Clouds in the special mission rewards, the Supreme Kai Trials. Uh, you get those. That's how you get the Nimbus medals. You get the Vegeta medals, and you can Doken Awaken him. And when you Doken Awaken him, then you're all set. He will become a really good support unit, and he will slowly increase his attack damage output. Uh, this Trunks is where this is where you grind the, the actual base form Trunk, Doken Awakens to do Super Saiyan, then he Doken Awakens again into a TUR with the Trunks Metals Miracle Sword of Light event, which is super easy to grind out, at least at this point in the game. If you have any of the newer leaders, you can just go through that without a problem. You also can Doken Awaken the Ultimate Gohan, not the Ultimate Gohan, uh, the Super Saiyan Future Gohan with one of these medals. He's still not that great in my opinion, but some people like him. Um, but yeah, that's that. Uh, stage 2 is really where you're going to want to grind it. So instead of like the Dragon Ball Super event, um, this Dragon Ball Z event, the one with the with the actual time chambers, that's when you're going to want to grind out if you're looking to get uh, more training grounds because you get the two times guaranteed per drop, which is really awesome. Stage 3 is going to be the Gohans that drop. Stage 4 is the Gohan Metal. Stage 5 is the Trunkses. Stage 6 is the Android Metals. And those are pains in the butts because they drop off rates from each other. Stage 7 is Vegeta Metal. Stage 8 is the Cell uh, Metals. And Stage 9, you can grind out Hercule statues. And then you have Stage 10, 11, and 12, which drop Android 18, or not 18, uh, 13, or 8 I'm sorry, Android 8, <laughs> Aider. Uh, Bulma and Icarus um, uh, support items. So honestly, they're all really good, honestly. Uh, I would definitely prioritize Icarus over anyone. It would probably, for me, it would be Icarus, Bulma, and then Aider. Uh, outside of that, I, I wouldn't really do anything else. But uh, yeah, that's just my opinion on the matter. This runs for a little bit of time. You have until the 11th of March. You have another like week for that, or week and a half for that to be available. Uh, next one, Go Forth Hero of Justice. This was reset, so if you haven't done so, go ahead and grind out the, uh, the, the rewards for them. Um, runs until the first, so you don't have that much time left. It ends tomorrow, actually. There's nothing really good here, in my opinion. These guys do greatly. Uh, the, the great Saiyan 
do greatly lower attack um, from what I from what I was told in my last video last week's weekly grind video but honestly I don't really think any of these are really worth Doken Awakening unless you're just looking to run them for some fun um, but it's up to you you can go ahead through this event you get Videl Bulma medals on stage one Bulma medals on stage two Bulma and Gohan medals on stage three Bulma medals on stage four Bulma's everywhere Bulma medals on stage five and you also have Yamu and Spopovich on stage five and then stage six you have all the medals i believe that are available for drop so good luck on that grind you get a dragonstone per stage if you haven't already done so and uh yeah that's about it for this event you can awaken this gohan which is formable from this event he doken awakens into the great saiyan man this uh summonable gohan he's an sr you can awaken him into the great saiyan man um this attack fidel doken awakens into the great saiyan man too and this strength videl the one with big fist that she will go and doken awakens into the great saiyan man too as well uh, outside of that, this event is kind of like old school, doesn't really matter anymore. Next one is going to be, we're moving into the actual summonings now. There's only three events available on the global side. Uh, the summonings are, it runs until 3.11, this is the Rising Dragon Carnival. This is the one where you have the new uh, Mighty Mask that gets that's there. If you get him, he's the SSR. Make sure to get him up to Super Attack 10 from the Strike event when you can. Make sure to grind that out. Don't Doken Awaken him until you do that. Get him all up to Super Attack 10. Then you could then you could start to Doken Awaken him, and he requires all these medals you have. The Mighty Mass Medals, which will require him to get Doken Awakening. And then you will have both Gotenks Medals that you'll need and Time Trial Medals in order to get him up to Goten and Trunks. And then he's an LR at that point. So he's the LR that's new, and all of them should be in this banner. Um, that runs until the 11th as well, so you have some time. If you want to summon on that, I will not be summoning on that myself. Uh, the other one that ends tomorrow is the Representatives of Universes Summon. Now, the reason why I'm not summoning on this is because even though they're all here, none of these are Doken Fest exclusive, so most of these guys, or all of these guys, will be available in future banners. Um, plus we have the Kefla banner coming out, and Kefla banner is going to have, should have Kale and Khalifa in it, um, and they'll probably have a couple other ones, I will talk about that when it gets released, uh, but I personally do like 17, actually a lot of these guys are good, uh, 17 and Topo are really awesome, uh, Bergamo can be good, it depends, I'm not really, like, I don't really care too much about that passive skill of his, uh, the defending in order to increase his attack, but, uh, what can you do, Majin Buu can be really awesome as well. So all these characters are actually pretty good, but you know it's, it's up to you. I did a full team building guide. If you guys are interested, go ahead and check out that video. I used this uh, actual image for the thumbnail. Uh, next one is going to be Majin Buu Saga category summon. I mean, I, I like these guys. I don't have this Buu, the main character over here. I don't have him. I really wish I did have him, uh, but I don't. He's a really good unit. Uh, he's a Buu super, so he comes really he comes in really handy on the Gotenks event. You could actually bring, if you have a Korra lead, you could bring a Korra team with him on it, and he'll just be like, just, he will destroy Gotenks. But unfortunately, I don't have him, but this runs until tomorrow if you want to summon on it. I will not be doing that. I think I did the discount ones. I think there were some discount ones here. Um, but you can go ahead and summon on it if you want to. I don't think it's worth it, in my opinion, unless you don't have any of these units. Um, next one is also the Doken Fest, the new Doken Fest. The Super Vegito Doken Fest ends tomorrow as well. Uh, I'm really hoping we get the Revival, the, the Freezer Revival one that comes up after that. Really keeping my fingers crossed for that. But we'll have to wait and see. We should have that information shortly. I'll probably do a news video tonight if we do that. Um, and that's actually it for the global side. They're, they're, everything's ending essentially today within the next week. Well, yeah, by tomorrow, everything will be ended. And the new stuff will be starting, except for a couple of the event missions. But, um, yep, let's go ahead and jump into the JP side of Dokkan Battle. So, first one is going to be the Low Class Warrior event is back. This is going to be available for April, so every weekly grind video, you guys are going to hear me talk about this. This is going to be available for a very long time. Um, let's see, you have Raditz on Stage 1, and Raditz Metals on Stage 4, or sorry, Raditz on Stage 2, Raditz Metals on Stage 4, go ahead and grind him out if you want to, he's going to be the low class warrior, um, leader, and that's about it, I think, yeah, I think that's really about it for him, I mean, I guess it's a cool event if you want to go ahead and grind him out, um, you also get some scouters, I think, oh no, this was the release of the scouter, so, um, yeah, that's it, I, I really don't like it, you can go ahead and grind out the scouters on Stage 1, I believe that just lets you know when a super attack is coming. Uh, that runs until the uh, until for a while, so go ahead and grind it out if you want to. Uh, next one is going to be, well, they're, they're kind of synonymous. It's the event for the uh, Gohan. Grind him out on stage one, scatter on stage two, training locations on stage three, and we go all the way down to stage seven in order for you to get the awakening medals for that Gohan. And then stage eight, you grind out his free potential system orbs, uh, and then there is an extreme Z awakening to get him up even higher if you want to. Cool free-to-play unit if you want to. Um, get him up to stage at level 140. And super attack level 15 and you should be good i mean it's all up to you if you want to grind this whole thing out or not i personally will not do this on the jp side but i will consider doing it on the global side um this runs until the sixth so you can go ahead and do that if you want to uh you have another battle about a week left until it ends it ends next tuesday for us in the states 
Um, next one is going to be the Majin Buu Candy event. This is where you get the Super Vegito. Uh, this runs until the 6th as well, so you have another week for that. You get the Deborah Cookie as well for uh, while you're in that, in that stage. Uh, outside of that, I mean, the Vegito is really cool. I definitely recommend grinding him out because he's a really good unit to have. Um, the Candy Vegito for a free-to-play team because he dodges very well. Outside of that, I mean, he's just a fun character to play just because he's out of the ordinary. Um, next one is going to be all the potential orbs events are open until 3 or 4, so you have less than a week left for that. But that's kind of self-explanatory. Go ahead and grind them out if you want to. Um, both these LR banners are going... Oh, yeah, we're moving into the banners now, by the way. And this is also the events. This goes for the events as well. Um, these run until 319, so you have some time for these to be available. Um... Yeah, uh, that's all there really is to it. Go ahead and jump into that if you want to. This is the new event that has all the medals and everything. So this event will be available daily until 3-19-2018. So you have, what, is that three more weeks left of this guy available? Two two more weeks of it? Let's see, one, two... Uh, almost three, yeah, almost, uh, almost three weeks. There's two and a half weeks left of, this, of these two events available, including their banners. Um, next one we're going to talk about is the reprint for Legendary Super Saiyan. So the Legendary Super Saiyan event is back, runs until 3.11. If you saw last week's video on Global, Shamu or Shamo, Shamo is a really good support unit if you want to go ahead and grind that out. I personally don't use them too much. If you guys are lacking Sensu Beans, which I don't know why you should unless you're new, uh, they, they, they are usually distributed out a lot. So, uh, Sensu Beans are available on Stage 3. A whole bunch of Awakening Medals are available on Stage 4, though, again, I always recommend going to the actual Awakening Medal events that you need instead of going to the, um, you know, random events that come up, that are available through, through, um, the, the actual side events. Uh, Videls and Trunks are available on Stage 5. Apparently, from everyone, everyone tells me, the Videls have a pain in the butt drop rate. I have not grinded her out personally. I don't even think I have her at Super Attack 10 at this point. Uh, but she is there, and the Trunks is there as well. And at stage 6 is all the medals you're going to need to Doken Awaken your Goku, Gohan, and Goten. So this is the Goku that Doken Awakens with these medals. This is the Gohan that Doken Awakens with the medals. And this is the Goten that Doken Awakens with the medals. Personally, like I say every week, I really like the Gohan. I think he's the only one who has the most viable. Um, Where is the most viable? Goten is really good if you have an LR Broly and if you are running a World Tournament team. Um, he's good because he changes key orbs. Broly as a leader... He gets the key, he gets the buffs, he is strength, and he does key orb manipulation for him, so that helps out Broly. Uh, the Goku, and not really. Like, he's like he's just really kind of useless, in my opinion, anyway. Um, I don't really like him. But uh, outside of that, that's this event. It runs until the 11th. Um, this ends on the 6th. March 6th is when the uh, the third year anniversary event ends. Grind it out every day, once a day. That's it. That's all there is to it. You get a whole bunch of experience for it, and you get the little coins that you go into the Baba Shop and purchase stuff. Self-explanatory there. That runs until the 6th. This one is going to be the Battle of Gods event, runs until the 9th, 3 9, so you have some time there. You Doken Awaken the Super Saiyan God Goku with Beerus medals. Doken Awaken Whis with Whis medals. This Whis with Whis medals. Um, there is the Farmable Goku, which kind of sucks. Uh, and the White Hot Face Off Goku, Doken Awaken with all these medals, as I say every week. You can Doken Awaken him into a God Goku. You can farm up. These are semi farmable, so you cannot grind this out. This is not the same Goku as the Super Saiyan Goku here. He is summonable only. And you can Doken Awaken him into a Super Saiyan God Goku. If you have a whole bunch of these guys on the side, you can get these medals if you want to do that grind and increase the super attack of all the God Gokus. Now, the order in which you do that is up to you and what preference you have and what teams you have. If you have all the teams, I mean, I don't really know. Uh, I, the, the strength team has really solid units. The agility team has really solid units. And, I mean, maybe the intelligence team because it, those units are really hard to come by when you have really good ones. So maybe you want to focus on the intelligence one first. Uh, Beerus medals are on stage 1, Whis is stage 2, stage 3 and 4 are the, the, um, Pilaf, Mai, and Shu, uh, awakening medals, or, uh, support items, uh, so those are really good, stage 5 is Gohan medals, stage 6 is Goten and Trunks medals, stage 7 is Vegeta, stage 8 is Videl, Goku, the actual card is stage 9, um, did I say that right? I don't, I forgot, there's no numbers on the side, and then the last three stages are going to be the training items. Outside of that, that's really it. Really, honestly, the peel off is cool for sealing, but I don't. No one really uses that anymore because even though everyone uses Vegitos, no one really seals with with support items because you can get you, either the enemies won't seal or you don't need it because everyone else tanks. Um, next one is going to be the legendary summon runs until today. It looks like it's ending tonight at 10 p.m. If you want to summon on it, personally, I don't think it's worth it, but you can if you want to. This is where the LR Trunks is available. He is the primary unit in this banner. Uh, and last but not least, the strength power gotcha runs until tonight as well. So you have some time if you want to go ahead and grind it out. You get some potential orbs and um, uh, Elder Kai's. So there you have it, guys. Well, I was able to keep this one under 15 minutes long. I hope that was helpful and informative to you. Let me know what you guys are excited about. At least on the global side, I really can't wait for the revival, uh, the, the Golden Freezer revival. I don't know if I'm going to be going hardcore on summoning for him. I just want him because he's a really awesome unit. He's super hardcore. And the team that he that can, you can run with him is just so OP. But um, anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.